What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're out on the water again and we are on beautiful Lake Keystone in Oklahoma and we're about to do some special fishing today. We're actually gonna fish for some giant prehistoric fish in this lake and we're gonna be catching them in a special way. I'm real excited about it. I got Jaron with me. He's my guide today. I'm gonna trip on the boat. But I got Jaron with me. He is my guide for the day. Uh, he's gonna show me how to catch some of these fish because he's done it, knows a little bit more than I do about how to do it. But we're gonna be using live scope and we're gonna be using some pretty unique tackle compared to what I'm used to seeing. I'll show you guys that stuff. But we're gonna get out, just start looking around, try to find these fish, hopefully catch one for you. And I hope you guys are ready. You need to stay tuned to see this because it's gonna be awesome. So let's go freaking get them. All right, so right now we're lo looking for the elusive spoonbill. Actually, so Jaron knows a lot more than I do about this, so I'm gonna let him sit up here. He's gonna show me how to catch these fish, how to find them, because I've never done it before. I'm gonna polish off this coffee uh, because I need it. I'm a big proponent of coffee, but we're actually looking for some fish right now. Hopefully, gonna stumble up on one, and Jaron's gonna show me how to get it, and then we're gonna dive right in, try to catch some big ones, maybe. This lake's got world records in it. There's no doubt about it. The world record has been broke like two or three times here in the last year. Six or seven. Six or seven. So it's got some of the biggest spoonbill in the entire world in this lake that we're on. Will we catch one? I'm not sure, but we're gonna go fish for them and try to get a world record. Maybe not. I'll take a hundred pounder. I'm not gonna complain, but it could be crazy. Dude, this is gonna be epic. Right, now I gotta get the feel for my trolling motor. It's been a, I don't even know what it feels like. Uh oh, where'd I go? Here I am. No, no but there's another one. Now. Got him! Oh my god, dude! Oh, oh my god! Jesus, I, I don't know how not to. I'm just trying not to high stick. Oh my God. Dude, you weren't joking. No, oh, I hope I'm filming. Yes, dude. Drag that drag off a little bit you have to. Once you get okay, to yeah, Jesus. Yeah, just let us drift so we don't waste troll motor because there's a bunch. Oh my God, dude. Dude, I can't move him. That's it's probably not even a big one. No, this is a good one. Oh, is it? Golly, oh, yeah, get that big camera. Yeah, I can't move him. Like, oh, uh, no, I'm just gonna break the rod if I try to move him. All right, guys, we got Jacob on here. <laughs> Where's the spoonbill over? First one, yep. I gotta get under the trolling motor. Yeah, this is, this is <laughs> Dude, he's not moving. My rail seat's loose, too. Oh, my, <laughs> did you see that? Oh my god. I'm glad we got a lot of line. Uh, yeah, he's not moving at all. Oh, please stay on. Dude. These fish pull. Like, I'm not even, I don't know how big he is, but I ain't moving him at all. I'm probably going to lose him things like three to one gear ratio oh nope he ain't done <laughs> my arm's tired already it's been like two minutes up. yep he's right here got <laughs> yes dude Hope he ain't done. Uh, yep, he's not done yet. Yeah, that's good for the big camera. Let's just get him in. Oh he ain't done. How big is he? 30? 40? No. 50 maybe? This one might be 50. He got a big tail. <laughs> ain't a winner though. No, I couldn't imagine. Dude, that fish just, I hit and I was like, oh, that's a wall. 
No, yeah, he's not as big as I thought he was. Woo, first one though. Yeah. And they don't like their tail being touched. Oh no. Until they're wore out, they won't let you get a rope on. Dude. We got him, he's strong. He's strong. He's strong. Alright. Dude. That's it. That's why we came. Thank you. That's all I gotta say. Let's go. So we're gonna do things a little bit differently today. I'm gonna be behind the camera and in front of the camera a little more than normal. Uh, we're letting Jacob calm down after catching his first uh, freshwater tuna. Um, we've got it tied up to the boat right now, kind of relaxing. We're gonna get a weight on it and see what his first spoonbill weighed. Weight on my first paddlefish. Oh, it'll stay on, yep. Oh. Okay, okay. Not a giant. Oh. I'm not gonna try to show you guys, but it's about it's bouncing at about 27 and a half. So not a giant, but that's a good good way to start for my first paddlefish. Get this dude unhooked. Now we gotta go search for a big, and I don't know what it's gonna feel like if I hook like an 80. We ready to get him back or see if he'll go? Go ahead. Okay, we're gonna get him back. Ugh. Oh, get him rolling. Come on, dude. So, I don't know if you guys can see, straight dookie on the leg. Um, God dang it. It was worth it. I got pooed all over when we got our first paddlefish. Now it's time to get on some more because that was awesome. Let's, let's go. I got to clean up. Oh my God. Ugh, Jesus. He got me on that one. He got me. So while Jacob cleans I'm up, my shoe. while Jacob cleans up a little bit, uh, you guys obviously saw that when we weigh these fish, we hang them up like that, and they're bent over pretty good. Um, where you guys get all worried about the fish, they have no bones in their main part of their body. Um, the only thing they have is their spinal cord is like just a big tendon. Um, the only bone in their whole body is their bill, and these fish are not by any means a normal fish. What we're doing is not hurting them any more than catching a regular bass. Um, the skin around their body is super, super thick. Like they'll heal up just fine from these hooks getting put in them. Um, they don't eat any normal lure. They eat little bit plankton. So you're not gonna catch them on anything other than a big trouble hook. Um, these fish will heal up just fine. So don't worry about them. I wish it would've hurt him more. I got shit all over my leg. That's how we do it. First spoonbill, I'm liking it. That fish fought harder than anything I've caught in a long time. Maybe some saltwater fish that have compared, but I, I don't even think that because I'm throwing pretty heavy gear. And uh, that fish kicked my butt. He took like 30 yards of line at one point, like wrecking it. Oh, I hit him. I hit him. Dang it. I had my chance. I shot my shot and I missed it. Okay, we'll find another one. Oops, sorry. Get him. Got him. Got him? Dude. I'll get the camera. Oh, did he come off? Oh, no, he's not. We might be chasing this one here in a second. You just tell me, I'll get on that big motor. I know you don't got as much line as I do. <laughs> oh yeah. He's not done yet, is he?
Dude, I'm pro at this now. Oh, I'm gonna get down here. Don't smack me. Oh, I'm getting there. Uh, okay, don't kick, don't kick, don't kick. Got him, lassoed him. There you go, dude. That's definitely a little bit bigger than mine. Yeah. All right, guys, my first spoonbill of the day. Um, not a giant, but we are upgrading in size just a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and get him back. See if we can find one just a little bit bigger. This day is off to a freaking good start. We've been here like two and a half, three hours. Ooh, smudge on the lens, that's all right. We've been here two and a half, three hours. Two fish, touched a couple more that we haven't got a hook in. So we're finding the fish. They're around, we're going to look for some big ones now. This is so cool. Like this lake is just, this is a lot different than what I'm used to doing. And these fish are a lot bigger than what I'm used to catching. And this is awesome. Thank you so much for bringing me out here. I, I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm excited. And I'm really excited for what's to come. Ooh, baby. Hit him. Oh. <laughs> Oh. That hit different, didn't it? That hit different. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I saw when you hit that one, it didn't look like the other ones. Shit. Get turned, get turned. I can't. He's under the boat. Come off? No way. Dude, that was a giant. That was a hunter. Sorry, I didn't want to turn because I saw where your line was at with the trolling motor. Dude, that fish hit different, didn't it? That was a big fish. Dude. <laughs> like, I saw when you hit and it didn't, it just went the other way. I was like, that, that is not the same fish. No. That's different. <laughs> and that was drag locked. I felt like yeah, I had it was. <laughs> Now I'm going to go end up hitting a little one. That was a big fish. See, that one's little. Like, I don't look. That one was tall. Now you got me wanting to look for tall boys. I ain't talking about beers. I mean, maybe that too after, but. Dude, that was big. Woo -hoo -hoo. See you now I don't even want to throw at these after looking at that one. Oh my god, dude. Yep, big, big, big. Big, big, big. Go under, yep. Four and a half footer. Dude, I guess you're catching them all today? Well, it has been a quick minute since we've got into a fish, but this one is big. Um, caught a little one about 45 minutes ago. Um, hooked a big one probably an hour before that that was pushing that 100 pound range um i don't know if we've said it on camera but our goal today was 100 pound fish um this fish is probably going to give that a run for its money probably four and a half foot long on the graph um i'm not guessing always 100 accurate but this is a big fish i'm guessing 40. oh dude yeah I'll tail him. God. Rookie. Rookie. I knew when I started reaching, I was like, I got a big old bow in this line. There's no way. Bring him to me. I won't mess it up this time. I promise. You went going. Oh. God dang it, dude. I had it around him that time. I didn't get it cinched. You weren't lying. They don't like their tail touch, do they? All these freaking boats out here is going to cause us a mess. Get out of here. Come on. Okay, I'll, I won't mess it up this time. I'll use my left hand. That's the trick. Use the left hand. <laughs> Give me some tail, baby. Give me some tail. Come on with it. <sighs> I'm trash. What's that 
four times. I'm trash, dude. I'm not a pro. You didn't teach me right. Come on, baby. Give me your tail. I'll treat you right. Oh, let me switch you. I'll probably lose him anyway, but... Oh, I'm sitting on the rope. Now he's going to take the rope with him this time. Nope, I got him. I thought it was going to come off. All right, let me get that hook out of here. Tie him up so he don't take your rod. Sun's out, gun's out. Hope you can hold him up because I ain't doing it. All right, guys, we got it on the rope here. Um, not quite as healthy and as girthy as what we were hoping for. Um, these fish, once they hit about four and a half, five foot long, they don't usually get any longer. They just start filling out. And this one isn't quite as filled out as what we were hoping for, so we're gonna get a weight on it. I'm gonna guess probably 60, 65, um, but we'll see in just a second. Fifty-five. Hey man, uh, look like you're shaking a little bit there. Just trying to get it to stay still, and in these waves, just brutal. So we'll get a few pictures with this one, and then we'll get it back in the water and get onto the next fish. All right, we're gonna get this one back and get onto the next fish. I guess I gotta take the next one. But I got to, how big was that, 55? Yeah, I got to catch one over 55. I can't let you win. 53, yeah. Just because you know how to catch them doesn't mean I have to catch the small one. I'm going triple digit today. I am playing. Got him. Oh, Oh, it's a gar, dude. Did you see that gar? Yeah, I just saw something. It was like four and a half foot long. <laughs> it almost came. Yep. It was a mega, dude. Oh my god. It freaking jumped and hit the power poles. It almost came in the boat. Yeah. You know how cool that would have been? I was like, man, when I set the hook, it felt weird. Like, it didn't feel right. And then it was like. I mean, I don't know what right is, I guess. I've caught one, but it felt weird compared to the first one. He tried to jump in with me. I wouldn't trash. I can't even catch a gar. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Wait, wait, wait. Now. I hit him, didn't I? Oops. I saw him move. It looked like he moved he right when I... Turning, so I think he just heard something like that. I was about to say right when I went to... God dang it, dude. That's big. Calm down, Jacob. Calm down, Jacob. Dude, I think you got the lucky rod. Oh. You got the pretty rod. It's got to be good luck. I'm stealing your rod. Don't tell anyone. Come on, baby. Let me catch you. Please. I need this. It needs to be bigger than 55. Hard to set the hook when you're going that fast, isn't it? Hmm. I'm about over this. I'm tired of throwing a fish that I can't hit. Oh. oh my God! Yes, sir. You can hit him though. Maybe not me. Dude, got him. It's big, isn't it? What was that, a 30 minute chase? Yeah, no joke. This whole big? video is gonna be you. Those are, those are big head shakes. Oh yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, I'll tell him. Oh, come on, bring him to me, daddy. Come on. I guess you're my daddy now. I can't catch fish, so. Thanks for making me a YouTube video, though. I just got to film it the whole time. I need to get you a GoPro, I guess, so I've you can. I had a filmer. 
Yeah, no joke. I'm gonna get you a GoPro and just hang out in the back and watch. We threw with this fish, like, I, it had to have been a, we've been chasing it for 30 minutes at least. Like, we've thrown over 100 times at this fish, and he finally hit it and stuck him in. Oh, baby, come on. I don't know, he's about the same as the last one, huh? Yeah. I thought he was a little bigger when he first came up. Come on, I'll last, so yeah, I ain't scared. I bet he's not done, he's gonna get me. Oh no, I gotta be on this side. Yeah, get him inside. Oh, yep, I got him. Barely. He got me wet. It's getting close. Uh, just hold on to the rod. I'll get it. I don't want him to get off. And There we go. Right. Well, I guess I'm just going to let Jaron catch all these fish because uh, I'm trash at snagging. That's all I got to say. It is what it is. But we are going to weigh it because I'm curious. This is a, another big one. I mean, I've, I've never seen paddlefish this big in person until today. Fifty on the dot. Fifty? Yep. Nice. Well, we got another one right up there in that fifty class range. Um, definitely trying for some bigger fish, but we will take what we can get right now. Let's go get another one. Nice job on that uh, majestic release. Just trying to hit the viewers with some B-roll if they're still somehow watching the video, and he's got to throw them back in. I got you guys. This is Jaron's fault. Don't worry. I guess he can do what he wants. He's the one catching all the fish. I'm just hanging out, you know, not catching fish. So maybe I'll catch one one day before we go, though. He definitely uh, almost got it done before you got back. Hey, can I call you back in just a second? Okay, that's the end of the day. And uh, this was definitely a different kind of fishing trip for me experience. I was garbage today, but Jaron on the other hand saved the day. He was catching some good swimbill. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's late summer. These fish are not fattened up like they would be in three months. Fall's right around the corner, winter's right around the corner. Uh, if you guys want to see another one of these trips, let us know in the comments. Uh, we might be able to get Jacob on one more trip. Maybe we can get him on a few more fish. Um, we were around the right fish today, trying to let Jacob get one. Um, usually we put about 10 fish in the boat in a couple hour trip. Um, we didn't quite hit those same success numbers today, but uh, all in all, it was a good day. I think Jacob learned a lot, and I think next time he'll do a lot better and, and look at things a little differently. Yeah, and I'm gonna be completely transparent here. I thoroughly did not enjoy most of the day. You guys saw the good part of the day on video, but I, I don't know how many times I threw at Spoonbill today, but I could not hit them to save my life. And I like, I consider myself pretty salty behind live scope, which is what we were using to snag these fish. And I couldn't hit a fish. I, I couldn't figure it out. I hit, hit them with my line sometimes, but I could, couldn't catch one. Like I caught that one. I caught the first fish of the day. I thought it was going to be easy. And then Jaron took over. Like I was just, I was trash, but I need to learn it because it's a neat thing to do. But like he said, if you guys do like the video, really drop a comment down below. Let me know if you liked it because I will make more if you guys like it and I'm willing to go out there and learn. But if you guys don't want to see them, I may not go back out and spoonbill fish because I'll be angry. But I may, I'm, I'm thinking about learning. It's just, it's really, really difficult. I got some learning to do for sure. Jaron, Jaron won up me hard today. But other than that, pretty much, you know, up until the first fish I caught 30 minutes in, I had a lot of fun. Then the rest of the day I watched Jaron smash 50 pounders in front of my freaking face. So, I don't know. It is what it is. Can't be perfect in everything. Yeah, it is what it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you get my videos right when they're posted. Don't forget to drop that comment down below if you did like today's video. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.